going to do an encapsulated rose now. This nail's already been prepped and it's already got its stiletto form applied. So if you're not sure how to do that, take a look back at those videos now. We're using mega white and a purple to do our rose with. So you're going to dip into your mega white and then into your purple at the same time so that you pick up two colours on your brush. Place the bead on and then wait. 3D is about patience. If you work with it too fast, it's just going to flatten out and it's not going to look very nice. If you wait for it to start turning matte and then mould it, it's going to look a lot nicer. So when that bead's gone matte, get your brush into it and separate it so that you make a crescent shape. Again, wait for that bead to settle a little bit more. Then you're going to turn your brush round to a reverse method and press that petal out. Same again with your next bead. Two colours on your brush at the same time. Take your liquid out. Place the bead on. Wait for it to set a bit. Cut into it. Spread it out into a crescent shape. And again, wait for it to set a bit. Coming from the back of the petal and press it out. There's a bead, pick up exactly the same, place it on, let it set a bit. While that one's setting, I'm going to work onto a leaf. So I'm picking up white and green on the same bead. Place that on. This time, instead of waiting for that to set, you're going to get this bead into a point before it sets. And then wait. Then we can go back and work on that bead that we were waiting to set. Cut into it, spread it out. And press it out from the back of the bead. Go back to your leaf. And press it out. Picking up another bead for the flower, same again, white and then purple, and place it inside your existing petals. I'm going to start another rose further up now, while those beads are setting. As you get good at it, you will be able to do two or three beads at a time. So again, cutting into it, spreading it out. Press it back so it starts to overlap the last petals. Another bead on the inside of the first rose.
Again, with your leaves, don't forget to get it to a point before the acrylic starts to set. Centre bead, come in at a 90 degree angle and create a little donut in the middle of that rose. We're going to do a few more leaves before we cap the rest of this nail. We can now cap this whole nail in pink acrylic. Concentrate on your side walls whenever you're doing any form of sculpting. Don't forget to check your stress point before you finish.
We're going to let that nail set a little bit before we pinch it. Place your pinching tool on. And you can give it a little bit of a squeeze when it's a stiletto, but not too much. Take your pinching tool off and use your fingers to press the end of the stiletto together. It's almost as if you're rolling it in between your fingers. And then place the pinching tool back on. And leave it there for a few minutes. So we can take that pinching tool off now. And we can take our form off. Make sure that when you take your form off your client you go down so you don't hurt the hypernychium. So this nail is now ready to file. When you file over an encapsulated design, you will file some of that 3D work a little bit off. Don't worry, you'll still get that depth of that flower. We're going to do a little bit of hand painted on this nail as well, so we're just going to smooth it down with a white block. And then you can remove your dust. And then we're just going to trap that dust into that towel. So what we're going to do is just highlight certain areas of that rose and that leaf using our white paint. So water down your white paint a little bit so that it goes a bit further.
let that paint dry and then this nail's ready for a gel top coat. Get your client to put a finger into the lamp for two minutes. To finish this nail off, just apply a small amount of cuticle oil around the nail and don't forget to go underneath because part of this nail will be transparent. And that's some encapsulated roses done.